Hey everyone, uh, for sale is my 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8. Um, just going to do a quick walk around and I'm going to start it up and uh, pop the hood for you guys. Uh, now the wheels on here are uh, Work CR uh, Kais. Um, they're not going to come on the car. Um, those The wheels and tires are worth you know, at least 1500 bucks. Um, so I, I do have some rotor grids, some 17 by 9 rotor grids that are included with the car, but uh, the work wheels are not included. Um, and the rotor grids are hyper black. I'll provide links in the YouTube description. Here's a walk around of the car. Got a couple door dings right there. Walk, zoom in real quick so you can see those. Uh, let's see. They're all right here. So, I mean, the car is, you know, it's 10 years old. It's got a couple of door dings, a couple of uh, rock chips in the front, and crappy Mitsubishi paint. Um, also, the spoiler is uh, chipping. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But um, it's in condition that's synonymous with this age. And uh, I think the condition's pretty good. It's average condition for its age. It has been garage kept most of its life. Um, I got a third vehicle, so... It's been kind of sharing time outside. So here's the uh, here's where the wing is chipping. It's kind of bad actually. Um, so that should probably get tightened up. It's the inside back seat, front seat. Go ahead and hop in and crank it up. Runs really good. Um, and just a side note here. Um, it was, uh, it's got an HKS GT2 uh, turbine, turbo. Um, and it was uh, tuned at a place in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, it made 355 all-wheel horsepower, and I will provide the dyno charts. Uh, so the dyno, um, the uh, road, road tuning tool um, says that it's putting down 390 at the wheels, um, which if you calculate that back to the crank from all-wheel drive, uh, drivetrain loss, um, you're looking at around 500 horsepower at the crank. Um, so I'll go ahead and pop the trunk. So one thing this has started doing is it's got the classic uh, lifter tick noise. Um, you can kind of hear it a little bit. Um, it only does it when it's cold and it's typical of 4G63 engines. Give it a little rev here. So that's my car for sale. Thanks for looking, guys.